Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Johanna. For those of you who are new here, welcome. For those of you who are returning, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a flip through of Gentle Nature, a coloring book I was inspired by Lucy Just Adds Color. And if that is of interest to you, please stay tuned. Okay, so we're going to do a bit of a flip through of this. I'm not really great at them, but I did want to show you guys this coloring book. I have completed two pages in here and I have thoughts. And so I'm going to do the flip through because there are doubles in here. Just to give you a perspective, uh, this is eight and a half square. So it is smaller than like a Joanna Basford or a Kirby Rosanna, just to give you some size comparison and so I have marked it where the doubles begin and when Lucy was showing this on her channel uh, a few days ago because this is a recent purchase um, I got the same impression that she did that this is giving me all of the Kubakowska vibes now it is Amazon printed uh, I did have to look online uh, on Amazon. This is a book by Carlin Douglas. I don't know if Carlin is the artist or if it's the publisher, whatever, but that's what it says on Amazon because there's nowhere in this book that says that. There's also no details in this book. Yeah, so this starts the extra pages. And I don't know if Black River Art uses all Shutterstock, but this particular page says images used under the license of Shutterstock. So I don't know if that also includes this. Again, there's not a lot of information with this, and this wouldn't necessarily make me assume that this artist was Carlin Douglas or this publisher was Carlin Douglas. Yeah, there, there's no information. You have to look online. Any hoodles. So this is the cover, and again, it's totally giving me that Kubakowska vibe, although in what I imagine is much less quality paper because it's just Amazon printed. And I actually, I really like this coloring book. Again, like my Ikuko, this might be one of the ones that because there are two images, I would actually color both. And something like that, uh, even though I'm not a big fan of coloring water, would not bother me. Because of the grayscale, there wouldn't be a lot of coloring of water to do. And then for the background, if I wanted to do one, it'd be distressing. And so I think they're just really interesting images. They do look to be colored or to be um, illustrated by the same artist. I don't know that there's many in here that seem like outliers but they are really pretty. This one is a little less grayscale, but kind of still the same style of some of the other ones. And I think the ladies are just really pretty. Because of the paper, because it is single-sided, it definitely would be a alcohol marker work for me. Um, I When I show you my completed pages, I don't remember if I used any kind of pencil work on them. Mm, that's pretty. Now I want you to look at this page. Are you looking at this page? I want you to look at this page. Okay. And the fruit lady. This is actually a nice composition for her hand. And then this one with the bob and the fire. Not sure what that's about. Again, similar art, but certainly a, a little bit of a different vibe on here because there is some heavy line work, but there's actually no grayscale, if, if you know what I mean. Still pretty, and I th still think it'll be interesting to color. Again, very interesting images. And I think we're nearing to when the doubles begin. Oh, this cat is eyeing up the bird. I think that's an, a very interesting composition, although that's a huge eye for a bunny. That's kind of freaky. And then that's where the doubles begin. 
So this is one of the pages that I did. This was for Olga Ronnie. And again, the paper behaves like Amazon paper behaves. So you definitely need to put a blot art between so that you don't ruin the other side. It does take alcohol marker. I mean, what single sided paper doesn't? On here, there's also some stickles, some Wink of Stella, some Pentel glaze, and there isn't, there's really isn't any warping. And I thought there might have been because of the stickles, because it is a wet glitter until it dries, but no, it, it seems fine. Now, that page I told you to look at, and then look at it. Did you look at it? Yeah, that was a little uh, surprising to me. So that's this picture here. And when I started coloring the page, I was coloring all of the greenery. That's how I, I tend to approach pages, color blocks of colors so that you can put the marker away because my desk is very small. So I did that greenery, totally saw the ladybug, did that greenery, totally saw the ladybug, worked on her hair, love how I did that totally saw the ladybug, worked on her skin, worked on this big ugly sweater she's wearing, totally saw the ladybug. And then I started to color the ladybug. I'm like, oh, there's two. Wait, what are they doing? Oh, see, because until I saw that there were two of them, I thought she was just playing peekaboo. And the ladybug just happened to be in the picture when in reality, uh, she's like, oh, see, I was trying to Instagram, uh, but apparently you guys are having some quality time. And so I'm not going to leave because I need to get my picture because Instagram is life, but I'm just going to give you some semblance of privacy. <laughs> I don't know why this page was so shocking to me. I call her Carla Magania. Uh, Right? And she's got boobs and, and hips and butt all over the place. But I, I guess it's because when I saw that picture, I honestly did not see that there were two of them. I, I, saw, I saw a ladybug. There's a ladybug. And, and there is. With a friend. <laughs> but yeah, that is Gentle Nature from Carlin Douglas. It is on Amazon. I will go ahead and put an affiliate link below with this book if you're interested in it. Again, it does have double pages. I think it said there's like 20, maybe 30 images. I don't know. I'm, I'm a horrible person at these kind of things, but I did want to show the book uh, to you guys just in case you are interested because the Kubakowska books you can only get on Etsy, I think. Uh, well, I can only get them on Etsy, and they're really expensive. I'm sure the paper quality is way, way better. They're not the same artist, clearly, but you can get some of the vibes, but in a definitely a much cheaper price range. <laughs> and sometimes that's just kind of what you need at that, that moment. All right, guys. Well, that's it for me for now. And as always, aloha.